then the number 2 key. The trouble condition will be displayed. Troubles can include low battery, AC loss, zone tamper, zone fault, zone low battery, time of date, etc. If your system indicates any trouble, please contact your security monitoring service for further information. The green AC light is on as long as AC power is connected to the keypad. However, some security monitoring companies choose not to enable this function at all. Your keypad allows you to assign different entry access codes to your family members or others who you want to provide entry to your home. To do this, you need the four or six digit master security code your installer gave you. To begin, press star 5 on the keypad and enter your four or six digit master security code. Use the arrow keys to determine which access code slot you want to assign. Slots range from 1 to 16. Press the star key to access the code slot you want to program. Then, program the individual's own four or six digit access code. They will use this code to arm and disarm your security system. For example, a spouse may be given the code slot of 2 and the access code of 2462. Press 02 to access slot 2. Now enter 2462 as your access code and the code is successfully programmed. The alarm system will automatically enroll the access code and the letter P will appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen indicating successful programming. Continue this process to assign all different entry access codes. Be sure to keep a record of the codes in a secure place. To delete individual access codes, press star 5 and enter your original four-digit security code. Next, enter the access code slot you wish to delete and press star. To exit access code programming, press the pound or number key. Five one-touch function keys are also available to perform a variety of common functions. Let's take a closer look. When you are home alone at night, or when you leave your home and want to protect the people inside, the Stay Arming feature will allow you to turn on your security system and move about freely inside without triggering an alarm. Before arming your security system, make sure that your doors and windows are closed and locked and that the ready light on the keypad is on. If it is not, one of the home's entry points may not be secured. Press one of the arrow keys on the keypad to identify which door or window needs to be closed. Now, press and hold the Stay button for two seconds. In this case, no beep noises will sound during your exit delay to avoid disturbing anyone still in the house. If you decide to leave while the security system is in Stay Armed mode, press the Away key and the system will arm in the Away mode or use the Quick Exit feature which we will discuss a little later in this video. To turn on your system when everyone is leaving the house, use the Away Arming key. Ensure all doors and windows are closed securely and the ready light is on. If it is not, one of the home's entry points may not be secured. Press one of the arrow keys on the keypad to identify which door or window needs to be closed. Now press and hold the away key for two seconds. The alarm system beeps rapidly four times and the armed light turns on. The system allows you enough time to safely leave your home without triggering your alarm. This is called an exit delay. During this time, the keypad beeps every second as a reminder that the system is arming. The alarm system beeps three times every second during the last 10 seconds of the exit delay. If you are unable to leave your home during this time, immediately disarm the system to prevent a false alarm. If you feel your exit delay does not give you enough time to exit, contact your security monitoring service and request a longer exit delay. When you return to your home, you must turn off or disarm your system. Once you open a door, the system will start the entry delay timer. You will hear a steady tone advising you to disarm your system immediately. Enter your security code and the system will disarm. If you make an error and the system remains armed, simply press the pound or number key to clear the system and enter the security code again. Remember, if you feel your exit delay is consistently not providing you with the time needed to exit, your security monitoring service can provide you with a longer exit period. The chime function lets you know through distinctive sounds when doors or windows are being opened and closed. 
When a door is opened or closed, the system beeps five times rapidly. To turn the chime feature on or off, press and hold the one-touch chime key for two seconds. The system will beep rapidly three times to let you know the feature has been enabled. When the chime feature is disabled, you hear a one-second beep instead. Occasionally, you may wish to arm your security system and still leave a door or window open. To do this, you need to bypass the zone that corresponds to the door or window. First, press the Bypass function key. Use the arrow keys to locate the zone, for example, Master Bedroom Window. When the zone is displayed, press the star key to bypass it. The letter B will appear in the lower right-hand corner of the keypad screen, indicating the zone is now bypassed. Continue to bypass other required zones, then press the pound or number key to exit from the zone bypass menu. Now when you arm your security system, all bypassed zones will be ignored and your system is secured. When you disarm the system, all bypassed zones will be cleared and the system will operate normally. Quick Exit is a useful tool for those times when you need to check the mailbox or let the dog in or out. It allows you to open or close a designated entry exit zone one time without entering the security code. To access the Quick Exit feature, ensure your alarm system is armed, then press and hold the Quick Exit button for two seconds. Your keypad also has three emergency keys, Fire, Auxiliary or Medical, and Panic. These keys offer a quick way of communicating your issue to your security monitoring service so they can dispatch the proper authorities. The fire key immediately sounds the siren, warning everyone inside, and transmits a signal to the security monitoring service notifying them of the fire. The auxiliary or medical key immediately transmits an emergency signal to the security monitoring service informing them of your medical emergency. The panic key immediately notifies the security monitoring service that you are fearful of an imminent personal attack by an intruder. To activate any of the emergency keys, press and hold the key down for two seconds. The keypad beeps to indicate to you that your alarm communication has been transmitted successfully. To ensure that your emergency keys are enabled, conduct a test. Before you do, don't forget to let your security monitoring service know. When you are finished, notify them once more to let them know you have finished the test. Your keypad displays different areas of protection, which we will call zones. Zones can include either a single detector or a number of them together and are usually identified on the inner door sticker of your keypad door. For example, Zone 1 can be identified as Front Door. Your installer has set up the zone labels for you. If there is an unwanted entry at a window or door, or a detector senses a violation, the set zone for that area on your keypad is triggered, and your system will sound the siren and send an alarm transmission to your security monitoring service. Although your security system automatically adjusts for daylight savings time, the time and date on your keypad may need occasional correction, especially after extended power outages. To program the time and date, press the star key, the six key, followed by your four-digit security code. The keypad will beep rapidly four times. If your system emits a steady one-second tone, the security code was entered incorrectly. Simply press the pound or number key and try again. Press the one key to select time and date. Now you can program the time and date by entering ten digits using the following format. Hour minute, month, day, year. Time is programmed using a 24-hour clock. To program 4.30 p.m. March 12, 2009, enter the following numbers. 1, 6 for the hour, 3, 0 for the minute, 0, 3 for the month, 1, 2 for the day, and 0, 9 for the year. To return to the main screen, Press the pound or number key. Your security system can also be armed or disarmed using a wireless key or prox tag. If your system has a wireless key, you simply press and hold the arm or disarm button on the key for one second. The key will beep to indicate that the signal has been received. 
the screen on the wireless key also indicates system status. If you have a prox tag, simply swipe the tag across the left side of the keypad display and the system will either arm or disarm as needed. Thank you very much for taking the time to better understand the numerous capabilities of your DSC wireless security system. We are confident that it will provide you with peace of mind by protecting what you value most, your family and your home. For more information on any of our DSC products, please contact your security professional or visit the DSC website at www.dsc.com. DSC's new two-way wireless security suite, featuring a Lexor wireless panel, provides complete protection and a host of complementary devices, all of it wirelessly. With keypads, sirens, detectors, and wireless keys, as well as GSM and IP communications, the new two-way wireless security suite provides superior protection without compromise. Alexor and the new two-way wireless security suite take far less time to install than hybrid systems and offers convenient and flexible installation options. With its full complement of fully encrypted two-way and one-way wireless accessories, Alexor is the power behind the security system. Less installation time. The power of speed. Alexor operates through the WT5500 wire-free keypad interface. With its handy wall or freestanding desk stand mounting options and the ability to connect up to four keypads per system, installers can now offer homeowners more choice. Alexor and its wireless peripherals have the same functionality as the DSC's hardwired power series systems with the additional benefit of consistent programming structure, template programming, and wireless quick enroll to shorten your programming and install times. Take a few minutes to learn how quickly you can install Alexor and the WT5500 keypad. And that's all it takes. A few minutes and you are out the door and on to the next install. Through the back plate, run the AC power line and phone line through the wire channel and into Alexor's casing. Then wire into the terminal block. Please note that the line should not be powered up at this time. Next, mark the mounting holes on the wall and mount the panel to the wall with the screws that are provided. Secure at the four fastening points. Now you can connect the battery and attach the faceplate to the back plate. Position the top of the faceplate within the top of the back plate and snap the bottom of the faceplate into place. It's important to check and make sure that the battery cables are connected to the battery prior to putting the plates together. Plug in the AC power to Alexor. Now, let's prepare the WT5500 keypad for installation. It is important to note that the WT5500 operates with batteries as its main power source, although the WT5500D model comes with a desk mount stand and AC transformer. Remove the mounting bracket and place the four AA batteries into the keypad. Press and hold star 1 for 3 seconds. The keypad is now enrolled into the panel and the display will say WFKP Enrollment Successful. Mark mounting holes using the mounting bracket and mount to the wall using screws provided. Secure at the four fastening points. Secure the keypad to mounting bracket. Your display should read System is ready to arm. Now you are ready to enroll the wireless devices by using the quick enroll feature. To access the installer's programming feature, enter star 8 plus the installer's code. Next, enter section 898 and your display will prompt you for wireless enrollment. At this time, you can enroll the wireless zones. For the purposes of this video, we have chosen to show you how to enroll the WT4989 two-way wireless key, WT4901 two-way indoor siren, and secondary WT5500 two-way wire-free keypad. To enroll the WT4989 wireless key, press any button and confirm the serial number on the keypad display by pressing star. Next, enter the key number, which ranges from key 1 to key 16. Next, enroll the WT4901 indoor siren. Remove the faceplate 
insert the batteries, and reconnect the faceplate. Confirm the serial number on the keypad display and enter the siren number, ranging from 1 to 4. This system allows for up to four sirens to be connected. For additional siren quick enrollment, the test button can also be used to send the serial number. Now you can enroll additional keypads onto the system. While in the wireless enrollment screen on the initial keypad, press star and 1 on the secondary keypad to enroll it onto the system. Confirm the serial number on the primary keypad display and define the keypad number, ranging from 2 to 4. Understanding that the primary keypad was enrolled into slot 1, this system allows for up to four keypads to be connected. Press pound or number sign to exit the quick enroll mode. Next, program the system for basic operation through template programming. This is performed within section 899. A four-digit code prompt exists for predefined zone definitions, reporting code format, communication call direction, reporting codes, and DLS setup. After entering the four-digit code, enter the telephone number, communications account code, DLS access code, entry and exit times, followed by the installer's code. Now we can conduct wireless device placement testing. Before mounting the detection devices in the home, it is important